Okay, let's go ahead and begin the demonstration of section 5.6 out of the Zybook. First participation activity that I'm looking at, they're going to give us the values of X, Y, and Z. And then uh, via the logical gates that are here, we're going to evaluate what the final answer is going to look like. So let me get my pen going here. All right. So they tell us in the first problem here, X is 0, Y is 1, and Z is 0. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to put a 0 there because that's X. Y is 1, and Z is 0. So the first piece of this on these guys, the, the one that looks like this with the curved end on this, this is an OR condition. So you're going to evaluate an OR. The triangles are not. So I'm going to put not there and not there. And the one that looks like a D there, those are going to be your AND conditions. So just wanted to label those accordingly. And it was talked about earlier in the section as well. So the first piece of this, uh, working from top down, I got 0 and 1. So X comes into this one as 0, Y comes in as 1. So a false or true is going to evaluate to a true statement. So now when I look at this not condition, the triangle there, the logical gate, you'll notice that the X follows down here. So I'm pulling the value of zero down here. The negation of false, which is zero, becomes a one or a true statement. And then same deal here, zero is what uh, inputs into the logical gate for Z. This guy also becomes a one as well. So the result of the one, the result of the one, you evaluate an and. So I'm doing a true and true, which is a true statement. Now you're going to take what feeds this is the one up here into the end, and the one from there feeds into that end. So true and true is going to evaluate to true. Notice that matching our correct answer on the first one. Let's do the second one. Yeah, let me get my pen activated there. All right, so same song, different verse. X is zero. So I'm going to come up there, put a zero. Y is zero, and Z is one. Feeding both X and Y in this case into the OR logical gate. False or false is going to evaluate to false. The triangles, again, are your not conditions. So you're negating whatever the bit or uh, the opposite of true false to be false or true respectively. So you'll notice on this one, again, X is what is feeding over. So the opposite of false is going to be true or one. One feeds into this one opposite of a true or one is false or zero respectively. So we need to evaluate this guy. This again is your and condition. True and false evaluates to false. So the first one feeding into this is going to be zero. This one also zero. Again, that is an and condition. So false and false evaluates to false uh, on this particular one. And notice I have that selected incorrectly. Calculated correctly, just selected the wrong option. But you'll notice we're now matching our correct answer on that one. Completing participation activity 5.6.2. All right, let's look at participation activity 5.6.6. For this particular one, we are going to illustrate which logical gate uh, it needs to be relative to the unknown. So. Feeding into this guy, I'm going to look at the logical expression here, the X plus Y. The plus there represents an OR condition. So X is feeding into this one. Y is feeding into this one. To represent that statement as a plus, it needs to be an OR condition. So I'm going to select OR. we got a correct answer there on the first piece. So this guy would be an OR condition up here. This guy here. I uh, is feeding a, let's see here. So we took care of that part. The X naught is feeding into that. So that takes care of that. Z naught is feeding into that. So the result of X plus Y or X or Y and X naught feeds into that. Notice this is a product here. Your products are going to feed as an and condition with Z naught. So the feed in of this one and this one has to be an and condition. So for gate B, this guy has to be an and condition on it. So I'm going to feed an and there, and we've got that correct. All right, let's look at uh, circuit two here. 
They want to know what the unknown for this guy is. So if I look at the expression here, it is for gate C is feeding in Z, which is the only one there for Z. And then Y not is there. So the plus there is going to give me an or condition. So let's verify I did that correct. We're going to be looking at an or on that one. And it is. And then the remaining component on this, if I go back to this, I'm looking at the feed of X, not and Y, which is that piece. So this guy was an or on it. This guy we already said was an or. This guy here, piece one of it and piece two are multiplied together. A multiplication on that, uh, a pseudo multiplication, of course, is going to be an and condition. So to join this first piece in parentheses and the second piece in parentheses is going to require an and condition. So, whoop, uh, where did I do that wrong? My apologies. Uh, for Oh, my bad. I need to scroll down here. For gate D, that's going to be our and condition. So I just needed to scroll down and select that. So gate D, as we talked about, there was an and condition. Now I've got that selected as the correct answer, completing that participation activity. Next participation activity, 5.6.7. We're going to look at the logical gates and create a corresponding uh, Boolean expression or logical expression that matches that. So let's look at circuit one here. Uh, circuit one, uh, and I'm going to analyze and start writing off to the right, and then we'll drag and drop down. X has a not on it. So the way that we would represent that is an X with a bar over it. It's connected with, and you have to follow this through, Z comes up here and to the line. So that is going to be Z on that. Because notice if you follow that through, that's going to be Z. The guy here is an and condition. This guy is an and condition. So X and Z is going to be grouped together. So it would be a dot or just simply write the two next to each other. We then connect the result of X, Z to the Y. Notice the Y here, but it's got a knot on it. So I'm going to write a Y there with the knot. Those two are connected together with an or condition. Because this guy here, this, that is the logical gate for an OR. So those two are connected together by the Y. These two, the result of this, everything that I've worked up to this point, gets connected with Z with an AND condition. So the result of that, along with Z, gets connected together. So out of those two, let's see what we got here. So we've got an X and a YZ. So which one was it here? Let's see. It would end up to be the one that I've selected here, the X and Z, notice those are together, plus the Y, and then uh, multiply together to Z. So this set, just as an FYI, I put that there for emphasis, but let me hit my eraser. That guy right there and that guy right there is not required. But when you develop it, it's sometimes good to start with those parentheses together. So we end up with the correct one on the first one. Let me go ahead to the second one here. Clear out my markings. And let's do circuit two. Circuit two is now the one that I'm going to work with. X starts with a knot on it. So I'm going to write an X with a bar over it. It's connected together. Notice Y with an OR condition. That guy there is an OR. So the Y connects with X knot. OR is represented by a plus. So to do the OR between those, it's going to be the X bar and the Y. Those two I'm going to put in parentheses for emphasis. I may not result with that parenthesis afterwards, but the connection between those two is your X uh, not uh, or Y. So now the next piece of this, if I follow this through, Y is going to get a not on it, because this is your not condition on Y. If you follow that through on the Y, you've got a Z that connects 
down here. So I'm going to write down a Z. Those guys get connected together by an AND. So those guys together, uh, the AND there represents your Y not and your Z. The two results, this guy right here and this guy right here, gets connected by an OR statement because that guy is an OR. So the connection of the first plus the connection of the second is going to be your result of those two. So I'm looking for X naught uh, plus Y. And let's see which one matches that. And then it's uh, multiplied together by the two of those which should result in this guy right here. If I drag that down, should be our correct answer. Again, sometimes with uh, when you build these guys, uh, you add additional parentheses that are not uh, necessary. So I would have eliminated uh, the one that was on the X plus Y. So that takes care of that one. Let's go to the third one here uh, for circuit three. Uh, and I'm... I'll eventually scroll down to, to give the answer, but X is knotted. So I'm looking at that piece right there. The Y feeds in to that one with an OR logical gate. So you're gonna have your Y and your X knot. So those two are gonna be uh, grouped together. I'm gonna put that in uh, parentheses just for emphasis for now. So then as I feed this, the knot there, because that guy is your knot, is coming from the X. Notice that I follow that down, it's starting with X. So I'm negating the X. The result of the X and the OR condition, so that piece and that piece is gated together by an AND. So it's actually written correctly as is because those two are multiplied or ANDed together. And then the last piece of this, you take the result of all that, and then it's gonna have an AND with a Z feeding it. So it's gonna be your AND condition to the first piece and the Z. So it looks like we've got this guy right here that I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop. So I'll move this down just a hair. And then we've got that there. And then the last one has to be that one, but let's just verify. Uh, that it is correct on circuit four. So I'm going to scroll down here just to air. And on this one, X is feeded with a knot. So that's going to be X knot. Y feeds into an OR. So the result of the X knot and the Y is going to be OR together. We represent an OR with a plus. So we've got the feed of those guys right there. However, at the end of the feed there, you'll notice that there is a knot. That's going to negate the previous step. So I'm going to put a bar over the entire top of that. So up to this point right here is the feed of X naught or Y and then negate the whole entire thing. So that's what that logical gate is there. The Z feeds from Y as well, because you'll notice Y dun, 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 down there, Z. So I have to write down a Y and a Z. And those guys are right there anded together because uh, that is your and statement. So those guys get a set of parentheses just for emphasis for now. It's not going to be required at the end. But the grouping of the first piece, which is that, the second piece is logically gated together by an or condition. So I have to group the first and the second together with a plus because of the or there. And then notice it's this guy right here. Now, the parentheses are required on the first piece, but the YZ not necessarily, if you had them there, that would be fine. But to match the answer, you'll notice uh, as I erase that, that piece and that piece would not be required. So we'll just drag and drop that down, completing that participation activity. And last but not least, challenge activity 5.6.1. Go ahead and click the start button. We're going to go ahead and create uh, the logical gates. We're going to drag and drop the corresponding logical gate that represents the expression that's up here. So you'll notice I've got a B and a C, the plus represents an OR. So the OR is gonna require this guy right here. So if you do a left mouse click on that, I'm gonna drag this down here 
And you'll notice you'll want to feed this the same way that it's listed from left to right. It would take, if you list, uh, drug the line to C is the first one and B is the second. But just to make sure I'm following the same order here, I'm going to drag B's line first from B and then C's line second. So B, you'll notice I'm going to hold down my left mouse button, drag to the first one. That's going to connect that piece. The C, I'm going to connect that piece. And the result goes to Z. So I have to drag to the final answer over there. And sorry about that. We'll check it. And we're good on the first one. Let's go to the second one. First piece I have to deal with is A and C. Those are multiplied together, so it is an AND condition. AND condition is going to be that logical gate, so I have to deal with that one first. Do a left mouse click. I'm going to go ahead and drag that over. A is listed first, so I'm going to drag that over to A. C is listed second. Drag it to there. So that takes care of the A and C part. I then join the result of the AC with a B on it. So the plus there to connect those guys together is going to be an OR logical gate. So down here is your OR, do a left mouse click. So it's going to result in me using the AC. Well, the AC is that piece. So I drag that to the first one. And then B is going to be your second piece you drag over, which is that. Connect your final answer to Z, check it. And we've got that one correct. Let's do number three. Okay, A not B and do an and condition because the A not needs to be knotted first. Your not logical gate is there. So do a left mouse click on it. I'm going to drag this over just a hair and I'm going to connect that together. So that gives you your A not piece. Your B needs to be connected together with an and logical gate. Your and is that one. Select that. So you're taking the result of A not, which is that piece. And the B, which is that piece, connect to your final result, check it, and we're good there. Next one, start with B and an A not. So I have to take care of A not first. So I need a not logical gate. So we adapt that, drag that over for the A piece. B gets connected with A since they're multiplied together. That is an and condition. So the and is that one right there. And again, you could have potentially have drawn down the A to the first one and the B to the second one. I just like to follow the same order when I'm doing this. So the B is the first one. So I'm going to drag B and then the A naught, which is this one right here, drag that there. The plus is going to be an OR condition. So I have to take the result of the B and the A naught to the C. So that's going to require an OR logical gate. So I'm going to take the result of the B A naught, which is that one right there. And I'm going to connect that to the C, which is that one. Drag your final answer over, check it, and we're good there. Let's go to the next one. Okay, A, B, not C. So B's got a not, so I'm going to deal with that one first. So I'm going to bring this over to B, drag that over. Now, the problem is you can't multiply or end three things together at one time. You got to take care of the A and the B not first, then take that result and and it to the C. So the A and the B not, I'm going to deal with that and first, bring this over. So I got my A, which is the first one, the B not, which is the second. So that takes care of the A and the B not. I'm going to take the result of that with C. It's still an and condition. So I have to bring over a second logical gate, and that's going to be the A, B piece. That's going to be the C piece. Connect to your answer, check it, and we're good there. Let's go to the next one. Okay. A naught and C. Let's deal with that piece first. So the A gets a knot on it. So I'm going to bring that over to there. Bring over your A naught. Those are anded together. So I need an N logical gate. Oop, undo. If you hit more than one, you can always hit your undo button just as an FYI. So I'm going to bring this here and I'm going to bring down my A naught and my C. So that takes care of the first piece. Now I need to join A and B together with an and condition. So I have to go back to the original A, original B and and those guys together. So I'm going to do this piece, bring that over, 
And I'm going to drag over an A there, a B there. So that takes care of the second piece. So I'm going to join together with a plus, which is an OR condition, that piece and that piece with an OR logical gate. So with that one here, your A naught and your C is your first piece. That is going to be, I did that there. So that one's going to be there. The second one, I have to join that together to OR those together. And again, I could have flip-flopped the two of them. I believe Zybook is going to count that correct. Drag your final answer, check it, and we're good. Let's go to seven. Okay, so A naught and B, let's deal with that piece. The A gets a naught, so we're going to deal with that one. So I got my A naught and B. Those are anded together, so I need an and. So that's going to take the A naught and the B, so I deal with that piece. A and C naught, so I need a negation for C. So I'm gonna introduce one of those guys. So I'm gonna bring over that for the C. So I would have to join those guys together since they're multiplied, it's an and. So I need an A and a C that has an and condition. So I do one of those. So I'm gonna bring over A, which is that, and then your C naught, which is that, do those together. The first piece is your A naught B. Your second piece here is your A C naught. I need to join those together with a plus, which requires an or. So I'm going to connect these two together. There's your first. There's your second. Drag down, check it, and we're good there for seven and one more. Okay. So I have to deal with B C, bring those together or A together, and then negate the whole entire thing. So let's deal with the B, C first. B, C is multiplied together, so it requires an and condition. So I'm gonna do one of those, drag a B, drag a C, and then I have to or an A, so I need one of those guys. So you're gonna take the result of the B, C, which is that piece, and A, which is that piece, so now I have B and C or A. Now I need to negate the whole entire thing. So the output of that one needs to be negated. So I need a negation there. Bring that down. I'm going to go ahead and drag that because your the line over the whole entire thing on the top represents negate it all. Bring it over to your answer, check it, and that completes that one. I believe I, let me double check. Yep, we're at additional exercises, so we're good. This completes the demonstration of section 5-6. Thanks.